Welcome to the Twin Cities at U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Cleveland Browns and the Minnesota Vikings. Ready to get us started, it's Cade York, and we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. This is taken just shy of the 10. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. First play and a first pass for Cousins. And complete right side to Cook. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Here's a throw off the scramble, and that's complete out left. And they'll get a Cousins now to throw on first down. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space, kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Off the play fake, Cousins. Completes it to the fullback hand. So eight yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. Here's Cook again. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. A give. This is Cook. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Cousins. And he whips that one incomplete there. That is first incompletion after a four for four start. Yeah, but they should back off from what they're doing. I like the play call right out of the gate. I like the tone that they're setting. Keep going in that direction. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. And it's caught. Touchdown, Vikings. Cook Cousins on the connection to Justin Jefferson. And the Vikings get the ball as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Joseph connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Yard line. 
Watson and the Browns now with a first and ten at their own 19 yard line. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. Boom, here to run. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. A give running right is Chubb. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Off of play action, it's Watson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? And now the Vikings are going to stop it here on defense with a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And the Vikings are going to beef up their secondary here. Six DBs on third. Here's Watson. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. It's Cameron Dantzler who puts it. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. CD, what a sensational start for this defense. Instead of just forcing the three and out, which they were about to do, they pick it off and take it in for the score. Yeah, I mean, they didn't just settle for the standard good way to start a game. They started in dramatic fashion. Take it away, score points, and guess what? They'll be flying to go back out there on defense again after that play. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Joseph now to kick this one away. Turn from his end zone is Grant. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Browns drive about to get started. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Throwing on third down, Watson. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. Finding space at the 40. Now he's loose at the 40. Inside the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. Usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game? And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And the Browns are going to take over at their own 41. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. And then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. Watson on first down. 
Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Hunt will try going up the middle. Eventually wrangled down before reaching the 20, but a strong run. The last run got six, now second and four. A shotgun snap for Watson. He's got the connection to Cooper. Touchdown, Browns! Deshaun Watson finding Amari Cooper. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. I feel like I'm back in school. What was that book, you know? It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. This has been a tale of two quarters so far. They trailed 14 to nothing after one. How about the rally we've been watching? Yeah, a couple of touchdowns. P.A.T. here to tie it up. This is a good ball game all of a sudden. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And that 14-0 lead to begin the ball game, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this one would be a walk in the park. And I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it. Let's keep going. It's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at him. And they have. As you said, let's see if they can regroup and get going again. To throw again on second down. Cousins. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. 20, 10, 5. Joseph connects on the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. On a return from his end zone is Grant. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Browns drive about to get started. They came out not so hot. The first quarter, they were sputtering a little bit, but they seem to have stayed the course and really righted the ship here in the second. Well, let's face it. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. The timing is everything on a run like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Now a run with Cook, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Second and six. Cousins now. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. So now after the sack, Cousins and the Vikings come up here third and long. It's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Browns are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also, like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but to throw one to the big guy? But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game, tell all their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. Now left side on the swing pass. And some room to run now. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. 
On first down, he'll run with Hunt. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and ten. Watson now to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. It's Cameron Dantzler who picks it. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will take this one home. That's a touchdown. That's one thing to get the interception, and it was a great play, but then you saw how quickly all of his teammates, Charles, turned to find blocks, made sure they had space for him to make the house call. And not only did they turn and find the blocks, none of them clipped from behind, blocked someone in the back. This play is going to stand. And how about what we see each and every week now? When the defenders make a big play, it's always a group celebration after the takeaway. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. Shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. On oh, the return from his end zone is Grant. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Browns drive about to get started. Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey in the band. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. An unfortunate sequence there. They're trying to get points before the remission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. Now, something that could come back up the later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Jet sweep to start the drive. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10 yard line. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. They'll run with Cook. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and goal. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. It's Cousins on the sneak, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. The sneak successful for the yard out, and the Vikings will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And he'll be out of bounds well short of the goal line, so the attempt at the fake extra point unsuccessful. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. On the return from his end zone is Grant. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Jakeem Grant. And that's the type of return that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the defense now. They've got to go out on the field almost like it's a sudden change, almost like it's a turnover. They've got to go out there and try and stop them. But boy, what a tough spot they're in. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks like the people just... And my goodness, another interception. There he goes. 
Rams right side. 